What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 353 to 356, almost at 253. Super excited. Thriller Bark is hilarious, fantastic so far. Remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes as well as the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. We're always live on Twitch watching these, so come on over, leave a follow, hang out. It is always a vibe. Check out the other social medias if you don't mind. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's hop right into it. One Piece, episode 353. Let's do it. All right, we're starting. This is 353. I never would thought I would hear this song again. I thought this was an Eni's Lobby specific song. This is one of my favorite songs in One Piece. Frankie, Robin were able to save Chopper and Usopp. Now we just gotta go beat up Absalom and save Nami. Luffy is oars. I'm just so glad we know how to purify them now with salt and stuff. They're going to the going, uh, the thousand, I almost said the going Mary. They're going to the thousand sunny to prevent the bodies from being taken there. Oh yeah. They wiped your boat clean. Corona and the zombies. All the food rations that we didn't really have much money or treasure, but it left our place a mess. We just got this shit. That's kind of messed up. What do they do? Oh, uh, did like what painted on them? Oh, that's fucked up. Kind of funny, but yeah, remind me to never have Frankie wake me up. That's how my head felt yesterday. Hey, buddy, we're knocked out because our shadow got taken. That was hot for Sanji, meat for Luffy, and Master Swordsman for Zoro. I cannot believe that worked. That was Loki, hilarious and good played by, by Usa. That is so funny. This is the guy getting Nami ready for her wedding. Fuck no. I don't know why they would have a zombie tailor who just has a plethora of wedding dresses ready to go. I bet you, all jokes aside, Nami would look fantastic in that dress. Whoa, buddy, don't just start. Whoa, watch it there, mister. Watch it there, mister. If there's anything that's going to wake Nami up, it's going to be an old creepy zombie trying to change her clothes. Has to cover their eyes. You know they're creeping. And of course he's invisible, just creeping as well. Or is he outside the room walking in? This is gonna be the priest who weds them. I love the animation choices with that. Like, your average character does have a shadow in the light, but they actually don't. Yeah, we tried. We genuinely did, but he's invisible. <laughs> he did rank them in a weird order of priorities. Yeah, give us the info. Devil foot Sanji? Sanji's gonna be super saiyan. Nami actually does get married. <laughs> they realize <laughs> how much danger they were actually in. Yep, Luffy did during the general zombie fight. Literally was using caliber or pound phoenixes and was getting lost. Saying the same lines. That's why? Interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, we never found out what question he asked Brooke. He had an iron backbone. I like that. You can actually see his backbone. He's a real... Frankie's saying that. Frankie's the true judge of people's backstories. He stays crying about them. So I want to know more. So we cut back to that moment on the silk bridge. That's what I was thinking, he asked. What is the promise that he made to his crewmates? Share his musical talents with the world or what? wonder if we're ever going to see him. But we can tell him what happened. That does suck. Five decades. That's a pretty shitty situation. Oh, oh my God. We didn't even have Robin or Frankie with us when we met Laboon and Crocus. He's a part of the crew that Laboon's been waiting for. Oh. That is such a good. That's such a good callback. We just met. I can't say we just met him because that was like 300 episodes ago. That was right after East Blue, but. Oh, that is a great callback, man. Damn, now I'm I'm all team Brooke, man. Oh, that's sad, because Laboon was so sad when we met him, because he was still... We have to have a conversation with, with Brooke and tell him. I love how they're showing us the exact flashbacks, too. Laboon was waiting for us and fucking ate us. He swallowed us. I'd never... I mean, I thought we would see him eventually, the Laboon again, but I didn't think we'd ever make the crew who actually left him there. Let alone it be Brooke. He, we didn't even have Chopper. We'd have Chopper, Robin, or Frankie. That was our first adventure in the Grand Line. They're like, are you serious? Like, I never would have thought that whale. Oh, we gotta tell. We gotta see Brooke again. That was a fire way to end the episode. God damn, man. I'm over here getting emotional for goddamn whale. All right, this is the next episode, 354. Yup. Freakishly, I love how the smoke from his cigarettes like playing out that real quick. That is such a good callback. Now I'm gonna be thinking of what other callbacks we can do. We already had Dory and Broggy, fantastic callback. We got Laboon now. I can't wait to see like Kureha. We already got to see like VV and Igaram and all that. Where we had the bounty reveals, you know, like. That's the one thing about this show, and people say the long amount of episodes is such a down, like it's such a horrible aspect of it, but like, it's low key the best. Because imagine watching this week by week back in the day. This would have been years. This would have been literally years after you'd seen Laboon. That's such a good callback. I just cannot believe how much bigger he's gotten in those last 50 years. And all those scars from him just ramming himself into Reverse Mountain because he's so upset. And inside is where you met Crocus. <laughs> yeah, Chopper's. I still can't believe we didn't even have Chopper, Frankie, or Robin. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the story, Chopper, I know. They had to do this. I remember this. They had to do like 17 cuts. That is hilarious. Yeah, 
He was so upset, you know, waiting for his friends. Makes much more sense why they never came back. It's not like they didn't care about him. They got murdered. Anji called it. The sad reality of, of the Grand Line. That's crazy. It was uncharted back then. It was even more chaotic. We need... Obviously, it's not going to happen, but we need Laboon as a crewmate now. Let's go back there with Brooke, scoop him up. Imagine we had a whale of his size helping us out. That'd be crazy. Oh, look at the young Laboon. When I eventually do my One Piece rewatch, when I see this, I'm like, man, that was Brooke, man. He's been crying out ever since. This is also Vivi's introduction. Yeah. Back when she was still pretending to be under Baroque works. I really like how they do the flashbacks inside like the One Piece map on the side just because it's a different aspect ratio. It's 4 by 3 versus 16 by 9 you know. That's Luffy's way of making a friend. He's like you want to fight again? I'll come back. We can fight. He's not like, let's go get lunch, not let's go play some chess or something. He's got to fight, you know? It's a good way to make him not hit his, his own head anymore, you know? I hope when we do see Laboon again, if we do see Laboon again, he still has that same Jolly Roger on his head. Probably would just wear down because of its paint and stuff like that, but. We got it. That gives us more motivation to beat the fuck out of Moria and uh, get Brooke's shadow back so we can leave and join the crew. We need that boy Brooke. And we cut back to Ryuma and Brooke going at it. If there's two things you're not going to cut, it's our afro and our cool top hat. Come on. Ooh! Brooke somewhat has the advantage, even though Ryuma's stronger. Brooke has the advantage with not... Like, you can't kill him. Otherwise, Ryuma's going to dissipate too, so... Oh, that's such a broke joke. That's hilarious. My heart still grows tight when I think of it. Ooh! Oh! Yeah, but he'd feel it in his heart, you know? That you're you. It's so interesting. Both of them have the same voice actor, Ryuma and uh, Brooke, right now, because of the shadow, his soul being in there. Like, there you go. That is weird. Ooh, ooh. Which everyone said resembled you. That's a good reason to want to protect that afro. Look at a baby laboon, man. And whales are some of the most social creatures out there. Look at Brooke, human form. That's crazy. Right through his abdomen, ribs. Right through his fucking pelvic area. I love Frankie's responses to backstories. He's literally the embodiment of the, of us audience. He's a musician, a talking skeleton. He's got an afro. He goes, yo -ho -ho! And he's a friend of one of our homies, so. Any objections now that we've gotten his story? That's true. I like that. A lot of people who are anti Brooke at the beginning. <laughs> I 
That's hilarious. Yup, not only us three, but we got Brooke. Four shadows to recover. I love that. We find, we've taken our L's for the arc. Now we're going to reconcile, come back as a group, and go out there and get a dub. <laughs> he said, that's hilarious. All right, this is the next episode. This is 355. He keeps trying to do his gum gum abilities. But you don't have gum gum, my man. That's hilarious. As he's just causing earthquakes everywhere else. It's less of ores, it's more of Luffy's will. He has one of the firmest wills there is. So no matter what form you put him in, he's still gonna be Luffy no matter what. Bro, something of his size climbing up that is crazy. That, I didn't I didn't realize he was scaled like that. Twice the size of Oimo and Kashi. You just gotta find Moria, right? He's like, I would like to see what I look like. The fastest way is to just beat Moria. One of the seven warlords. We've already defeated Crocodile. Have we fought any more of them? No. We got Jinbei, who's won. No Flamingo. Mihawk, right? This is going to be our second warlord getting taken down. He'd be glad to. Sanji needs to pull up like the old rom-com movies where he needs to pull up where he's like, I object while he beats his ass. He's literally going super Sanji right now. His hair is literally standing up. He's literally super Sanji. If you run into any zombies, no matter how strong they are, we'll be able to purify them. Alright, so not only are we splitting off into groups for these fights, but we have a time limit as well. Gotta have all this done by dawn. <laughs> I like Luffy's twist on that. He's like, I need a meal anyway, so the quicker we get this done, the quicker I can eat. Okay. I haven't heard the term Rue in a long time. We're gonna Rue the day, Mofka. Oh, um, what's his name? Hilden? Hildon? He's listening to this whole thing. That's not good. That's where he was climbing on top, on top of the... Top of the tower on Moria's ship? I guess, no, the whole thing is a ship. He's just on a main mass of Thriller Bark. That's crazy. I can't see squat, but I see a great future ahead of me. Okay. He's getting married. I like how they have an audience and everything. The, all the general zombies are there. I can see Zoro's guy right there. That Perona's love? So she still has her confidence, okay. In terms of physical attacking, Perona seems like the most difficult to fight. Those negative ghosts are annoying. They all have weird laughs. Oh, 
I wonder what two zombies he's going to take control over. And I know Moria says he wants to play with ores, but you'd think he'd be... Okay, he wants this Zoro and Sandy zombie. You'd think for someone who wants to be king of the pirates like Moria, he'd take this a little ser more serious. But hey, he thinks he's won. Sandy's still on fire. He most certainly is. Yeah, if I'm Luffy, I'm destroying this whole area, man. Screw these zombies, man. Aniki. Fashion Zoro starts calling Frankie Big Bro Aniki. This is the issue, though. Oh. And now they're going to be depressed. How do we stop this? How do we fight this? Mosquito larva is wild. Yeah, what happens if we put salt in the ghosts? They just go right through them, right? I mean... They're actual ghost ghosts. They're not like zombies with shadow souls in them. That could cause some havoc. That was the, the perfect distraction or destruction we needed. Shout out Ors. But now we're even more separated. Luffy's body is still there. Usopp Sanji fallen. The entire tower and bridge they were just on. Are they in front of oars? Oh, they think it's a wall. What is it? His back? His leg? He probably doesn't even feel it. That probably felt like a tickle to him. I would take this opportunity right now, put some salt in his mouth. As you know damn sure you're not fighting him. Because that is a bad situation. Alright, and we are on the last episode of this session. This is three... I don't know. This is a number in the 300s. Yeah, Chopper finally gets to confront him. Yep. Chopper's gonna give you the okay for that. Oh, Chopper wants to... That's a pairing I actually really like. I like that. Zoro with Ryuma, because they're swordsmen. I wanted to see that. Chopper needs his revenge on Hogback for disrespecting medical learning. Now, who's going to deal with Perona? Got out my girl, Robin. Call him out. He has the Zoro and Sanji zombie here. It should be quite the fight. Technically, Zoro and Sanji versus Robin and Chopper. I would use Robin to fight the Sanji shadow, because we know he's not going to hit a woman. Moria. I wonder, are we going to see all the fights happening at the same time and it's going to cut between them? Or are we going to get all the fights like, like per episode? Because Moria's... Very big. He has a huge bounty. His devil fruit power is kind of cool, but he seems very lazy. I'm curious how he's going to fight. And then we still are dealing with ores. Is that his... Instead of a straw hat, he has a rock hat? Rugiwara? <laughs> he's got to have his hat. Huh? Now I feel the part. He looked the part. He really does not give a fuck about us as a threat. I like that. He's got bigger priorities. 
or he just sees us like ants, you know? So how are we going to get across? I mean, theoretically, couldn't Frankie grab us all and do a... I was going to say a coup event. and has got mad traversal skills with that. What is he doing? My man just built a bridge? He is Tom's disciple. Legendary shipwright. Oh my god. He'll, no matter what he's doing, is never going to be half ass. That's insane. He has like intricate architecture on the rails and sh Look at my man Frankie. That's. <laughs> Huge shout out. Okay, we're going to deal with Perona first. Ostentatious? I don't even know what that means. But I would agree, this room is very ostentatious. Is it her devil fruit? The hollow, hollow fruit. Incorpor incorporeal. Interesting. So she literally is the ghost princess. Yeah, we cannot let a single one of these negative ghosts hit us. I kind of like this transition between the characters. That was kind of clean. They don't give a fuck. Zoro says I can't let them, but nope. And it hit all of them. How are we going to get over this hollowness in our heart? I wonder if like somebody who's already negative or already like a... I wonder if they could counteract this or not be affected. Mackerel's crazy. Jesus. You really do feel so hollow hearted. That is a really broken ability when you think about it. From a physical attack perspective. Now she has her her cutie warriors, whatever they're called. Oh, oh, oh. Sniper, sniper? Yeah, turn back around, Perona. Beautifully handled, Usa. Oh yeah, how did he not get affected by the the hollow? Oh, did he? He dodged it but pretended. Oh, 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 oh. This is not the fight I was expecting. Usa versus Perona. I like the song that's playing. See, it looks like he got hit again. See, and he's standing firm again. That's what I was wondering. Would someone who's super negative and down in the dumps, would they even be affected by it? Okay, NL. Who is she feeling like? That's literally it's just like that NL shot. He's so distraught by the fact that her powers won't work, and now she's the one. Be Usually they'll play the song during like a sad flashback. Yeah, because he's so negative. He's trying to cheer us up now. Gambare. This is not how I was expecting the Perona fight to go. Shout out to Captain Usopp. Okay. You guys go rescue Brooke? Go rescue Nami. Why does he seem to... <laughs> they really are leaving everything. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So my assumption is it's going to be Perona Usopp, Chopper Hogback, Robin Sindri, Ryuma Zoro, Absalom Sanji, and then Moria Luffy. We got a lot of fights on our hands right here. Speak of the devil. Speak of the invisible devil. Is she even conscious right now? 
She's still unconscious. What is someone gonna puppet her? I know, I know. Bro, why does his lips look like that? We have to stop this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Next session, we got this. All right, so we're making progress towards defeating Moria and getting everyone's shadow back. I absolutely loved the reference and the promise because I was wondering that last session, the promise that uh, Brooke made to his crewmate that ended up being Laboon, which I love that callback. I love the flashback. I love the references. There's so much that you don't realize Oda has planned out for hundreds of episodes until you see the everything revealed, which is so crazy to me. This man is such a forward thinker. But we have our fights lined up. Looks like it's Usopp v. Perona. It's going to be Absalom v. Sanji. We got Sindri and Hogback versus Robin and Chopper. Luffy's going to be going against Moria. And we got Zoro and Frankie helping out Brook with Ryuma. So thoroughly invested. I just don't know who's going to fight or deal with oars. How are we going to deal with that? He's just, he's just going to be flailing around until Moria gets dealt with. How is that going to work out? It's going to be very interesting. Thoroughly enjoying this arc. We're making some steady progress. We're going to defeat one of the seven warlords, which is actually rather huge. And then after this, I think we get right into Summit, Summit War. Yeah, which just the name of that alone gets me excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, early access up to 16 episodes, full uncut versions over on the Patreon down below. We're always live on Twitch watching these. Come on over, follow twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciate you guys. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.